Hello everyone and welcome back to STEM. Today I'm doing the face masks that you guys sent in. I chose three. I chose these three based off of the ingredients I already had at home. So if I didn't choose yours, don't feel left out or anything like that. I just use I just chose the ones that I have here at home. So let's get started. So I'm gonna show you what I'll be mixing in, but I I think I'll be doing the mixing off camera just because otherwise this video is going to be very very long. So the first face mask that I will be doing is going to be a um, strawberry face mask. For this one I'm going to need a small bowl, some ripe strawberries, and some honey. This is actual beef honey. I'll be using some of this. What I'm going to be doing is grinding them up into like a paste and then applying it to my face. Fingers crossed that this does not make me break out. So let's get started. I'll be right back with my face mask. So I'm finishing off the face mask and um, I try to make my strawberries as smushed as possible. I held her to open. I uh, try to make them as fresh as possible. I miss this to like make them into pulp. So that's what I try to do. This smells really, really good. Um, it smells like strawberries. So I did that. Now I'm going to add my tablespoon of honey and just mix it in. So. Let's go with a tablespoon of honey. So let's just get it in there, okay, leave that there because I'm going to need it for another face mask and now just kind of what I'm going to do is mix this in as much as well as I can. And it's going to be time to apply, let me just wash my hands so I went ahead wash my hands um, my face is clean I don't have any makeup or anything of the sorts on my face um, I am go I put my hair up because I don't want honey in my hair and and let's just get right into it so my first thought about this face mask is it smells really good um, the smell of strawberries it's really really good so I really like that about it. Um, besides that, it looks a little disgusting. Um, let me show you. Oof, I don't want to spell that on my computer. Um, it looks a little disgusting. I try to mix it as much as possible. This is the paste I came out with. This is what I will be applying to my face. So let's just get to applying. Let's see how that feels. So I'm just going to do this. Not really sticking to my face. I want to get that dirty. Not really sticking to my face like I thought it would. Maybe like I have to make it be more um, thicker. More. Taste is good. Strawberries and honey. Um, just applying it on my face. Just going to go ahead and put it on my fingers now since I have it like mostly all over my face. And in the instructions, it said to apply in circular motions. This is really sweet and it's getting in my mouth. It says to apply in circular motions, so that's what I'm doing right now. Applying in circular motions all over my face now. It feels like if I were rubbing like soap, you know how it's like slippery when you put soap on your face? That's how it feels. It's not making any bubbles, so no, it's not soap. And it feels pretty good. It's not sticky like I assumed it would be. So, I mean, that's a plus. Mm, feels good. 
All right, now that that is all rubbed into my face, let me get a little closer to the camera. You can see some strawberries on my eyebrows. Um, but so I applied that all over my face, on my under eye. Strawberries are very rich in antioxidants. And um, the honey is like good for hydration of the skin. So I mean, see what it does. My skin is actually very dry. And I have been having breakouts lately. I don't have perfect skin by no means. Um, so we'll see what it does. Um, now from here on out, it says to let it dry for 10 minutes. So I'm going to let it dry and come back, okay? After I wash it off. All done now. Um, I wash it off. In the instructions, it said to wash off first with warm water. Make sure you get it off thoroughly. I did get some in my hair. Make sure I got that out. Um, I washed out first with warm water, then rinsed a second time, but with cold water. And in the instructions, it said that that was because that was to be able to close your pores after cleaning them. So, again, that was a strawberry honey face mask. Rich in antioxidants. Good for your skin. Um, honey's good for hydration. Um, final thoughts on this mask. Personally, I think it's very easy to make. It's accessible. Um... Sticky a little. When it got dry, it got really sticky. I know I was saying it wasn't as sticky as I thought, but when it started to dry, it was sticky, sticky. I didn't like that part, but I mean, my skin does feel a little softer. Not like, oh my goodness, your skin's so soft. But it does feel a little different. Again, I didn't have anything on my face, so probably because I didn't have lotion or anything. That's why I felt a little dry and rough today. Um, so that was the strawberry face mask. Let's go on with our... I'm um, going to go with the... Oh. Very well. So for our second face mask, what we are going to be needing is oatmeal. And... Oops. Oatmeal and baking soda so that's it and water so this recipe calls for two tablespoons of baking soda Let's open that up i'm sorry two tablespoons of oatmeal not baking soda so two tablespoons of oatmeal got that in there now for the baking soda we are going to be adding one teaspoon of that so a teaspoon a smaller spoon so we're going to be adding that baking soda yes I buy baking soda in bulk so, one teaspoon of baking soda. Now, what I'm going to be doing off camera is I'm going to be putting this into the blender, adding a little bit of water at a time um, so it can become pasty. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The only ingredients I use are oatmeal, baking soda, and water. So I'll be right back with my pasty oatmeal. So real quick, before I blended this, I noticed that I had just dumped out what I had in the little bowl, um, which was oatmeal and baking soda. And if you look at it here, it bubbled and it made like um, foam. And I think that's actually pretty interesting. All I added was the water. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick before I blended it. So let me go ahead and blend it now. So I'm done blending it and when I actually opened the blender because I twist off the top, it actually went like it let go of some gas. So the bubbles made that reaction. So um, 
I'm back with the paste that I made. The oatmeal didn't grind as well as I wanted it to just because it was a small amount. And I'm not going to make a huge amount because it's just me. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, give me one second so I can apply this and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So quick update. Um, I So I started applying the mask. As soon as I started applying the mask, I felt really bad burning right here in this area of my chin. You can see I had some pimples there. Um, in this area, I felt really bad burning. Um, I only applied the face mask to the bottom part of my face. And after that, I washed it off because I didn't think it was very good for, to feel the burning sensation, especially since it was so intense. So um, that one didn't work out. So for the third face mask, it was with egg and honey and baking soda, actually. So since it does contain baking soda, I'm not going to go ahead and do it being that it cost me that effect with the oatmeal. I mean... I'm not sure I can pinpoint exactly what it was, but I don't want to risk it. So that is going to be the end of this project. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, now, if you need any help with anything, let me know. Um, for your assignment today, I want you to send me a list of the ingredients I used for both face masks. Um, so for the strawberry and honey one, and then for the um, oatmeal with baking soda. Uh, let me know the ingredients, and then let me know if you would try it or not. And if you would, why you would, and if you wouldn't, why you wouldn't do it. So that will be a total of four sentences, two for each face mask that I tried. So... I hope to be hearing back from everyone very, very soon, and I hope you all have a very wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.